from raw momentum to spin formation, is the configuration stage of Big Bang chronology, the matter creation era. This is the configuration of electron. There's an equal chance to configure opposite trajectories, or for electron to spin into maximum concentration. This is the configuration of antimatter. Electron and antiproton's absorbing side is clockwise. Proton and positron's absorbing side is counterclockwise. Electron and positron has same low frequency. Proton and antiproton has same high frequency. Highly different frequencies has little interference. Similar frequencies has high interference. Electron anti electron, proton anti proton attracts the same way as proton to electron. Electron anti proton, proton anti electron repels the same way as electron to electron, proton to proton. Proton electron connection adjusts optimal distance. Proton electron have opposite frequencies, minimal interference. Proton electron can easily regenerate faster than unconfiguring each other. Protons and electrons sync equilibrium is stronger than interference repelling just the right amount. Thus, proton-electron can join perfectly. Matter and antimatter counterpart have same frequency, causing high interference. Interference is stronger than sync equilibrium, cannot regenerate fast enough, cannot repel enough, resulting in the total unconfiguration of both when close enough. No energy can be destroyed, just dissolved and reconfigured under right conditions. Influencing configuration. Proton attracts electron. If no electron is in proximity, naturally protons' trajectories will attempt to create a new electron. Usually, field density is too low for the faint image to actualize. An existing configuration will influence surrounding raw momentum into similar configuration. For example, neutron always decay into proton electron pair instead of anti proton anti electron pair, with influence from nearby matters. Creation of electron inevitably also creates anti-electron to balance the interaction with surrounding. Proton prefers to create electron, while anti-electron is the undesired byproduct. So when multiple protons configuring new electrons together, many electrons can share creation of the less preferred anti-electron. So in the matter environment, less preferred weaker anti-electron is more likely to be dissolved by high field density surrounding and less likely to be created and vice versa in an antimatter environment. Proton induces the creation of electron, and vice versa. Antiproton induces the creation of anti-electron, and vice versa. Configurating field systems requires high density and turbulent trajectories. For example, Big Bang, relativistic collisions, in the nucleus, etc. Bion asymmetry. Matter and antimatter better to comfort each other. A tiny leak in one configuration will quickly escalate into absolute dominance. As they send out legions to unconfigure with oppositions, and the remaining members convince raw field momentum to become similar configurations, and the process repeats in stronger magnitude. After a configuration stage, most field momentum evolved to become proton and electron, electromagnetic radiation, gravity, etc. As general field density becomes too dilute for new configurations to generate spontaneously. In another universe, there is an equal chance it's predominantly made out of antimatter. Of course, they'll call it matter. All the matter in the universe today are not leftovers, but countless of reconfigurations till most becomes the configuration we are familiar with. There's no biasness in physics, just probability.